turn it on when I'm picking the dog hair off the chair. Morning. You know, I want to talk about a great thing about America, right? We all know it. It's called freedom. Isn't it incredible? The idea of it, the word freedom, right? What we think of it. But do you ever feel it? You know? It's interesting. Since I moved to the country, i got to show you what I'm carrying today. Got my Winchester 1873 and 357 Magnum. We used to do the 45 Long Colt, but that bullet kind of goes, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't have guns like that. But now you can carry this with your Magnum pistol, revolver. 357, you can practice with 38s and have lots of fun with them. These things are awesome, man. But uh, anyway, back to freedom. You know, I think the last bastion of freedom, honestly, that I felt just so incredibly is small town gun shows. When's the last time you went to a small time, small town gun show? You know, I went with, I went to one with my uncle. Uh, he's 80 plus years old and, and we kind of strolled through there. And you know, when you walk through a gun show, you know, I, I love guns. I've loved guns since I was a kid. I got a cousin I love him to death. Tom, I love you. And uh, he doesn't own a gun. Uh, actually, we were shooting BB guns once when we were kids. And uh, we're shooting at a lizard when I was living in Las Vegas. He was visiting. He still lives in the same small town that we grew up in, Orland Park, Illinois. Anyway, he was out visiting. We were kids, and we were shooting BB guns at a lizard by the air conditioning unit, and there was concrete down there, and we were counter to each other. This is a true story. And we both shot, and uh, my BB went down, hit the concrete, I'm sure after it killed the lizard, but it came back up went right into his eyeball. It's a truth. And it stuck in the white. Now, if it would have hit the pupil, he'd have been blind in that eye. I learned a lot that day. And we went to the doctor. He just like, oh. And then when he took his hand away, I look, and there's the BB stuck in his eyeball in the white portion. We go to the doctor. He just puts his finger, popped it out. And thank God Tom's not blind. So don't get in the crossfire. It was a great learning experience for both of us. Tom never owned a gun after that. <laughs> and I know the difference about shooting and a crossfire. Anyway, let's get back to freedom and gun shows. You know, when's the last time you walked through a gun show? I love walking through there with my boy, Wyatt. Everybody that knows our page knows my life is my boy. I love him. Even though he's sleeping in the morning while I'm drinking my coffee. My wife's over there working out with her hand weights, but she don't want you to see her because she's getting in shape. When she gets in perfect shape, then she's going to be on the camera every day. But, uh, no, man, I mean, gun shows are awesome, and I really love guns, so I love the subject. I, I don't know why I love guns. just always have revolvers, pistols, rifles. I just love them. I don't know why I love them. Like everybody loves what they love, you know, or their favorite hobby. But the freedom of a gun show. So I'm walking through this gun show with my uncle, who's 80-plus years old, and he buys a rifle and no paperwork. And I know there's going to be anti-gunners like, oh, see what I mean, the loophole. He got a, you know, that's how criminals kill people. Uh, you know, uh, this media frenzy of everything with a gun. Uh, you're a bad guy if you got a gun, if you love guns, you hold guns. That's nonsense. I loved it, man. I mean, have you ever experienced that? Because if you haven't, you really lost out. I mean, he bought the rifle. You know, guy has a rifle. They're talking. He loves it. He buys it. He picks it up. We walk out of the gun show, out onto the street. It's America, man. It's America. It's freedom. You know, this idea, guns are evil. I'll take the guns. The guns, it's nonsense. Do you know how many, they say there's 100 million gun owners in America. 100 million. Now, is that true? Who knows statistics? I hate everything about them because they can be so easily uh, manipulated, right? Manipulation is just a, a taint of the truth. But uh, the freedom. I mean, I remember walking out. It was a beautiful day, and I'm just, I just felt it. It just swelled through my body. Freedom. Like, oh, my God, this is America. We want to take that loophole out because, doggone it, criminals will go in and buy guns. Listen, if a criminal wants a gun, they'll get one. They'll steal it. They'll buy it from somebody. Listen, th these loopholes, the idea that you have to sell a gun and you have to, uh, you have to make sure that you do a background check, uh, that can't be enforced without registration. Do you recognize that? 
The loophole, what you have to understand is the loophole for gun shows is the back door to registration. You see, if they pass that law, then they're going to say, well, we have to register all guns. Otherwise, how will we know if Jody sells a gun to Jim? If we don't know what Jody has, he could sell it tomorrow, and he could have said he sold it 10 years ago. But if we have everybody register their guns, then we'll be able to keep an eye on them so that people don't sell them. And everybody knows that registration leads to confiscation. Freedom in this country, right? Like we moved to the country. You know, I, I grew up until I was uh, about seven in Illinois. And then we moved to Las Vegas, and I lived there for 40 years off and on. Off and on meaning towards the end after I retired, we came to Montana. And then we moved to the Middle East for about a year and a half where I was training the world's largest SWAT team. And then we came back here. This is freedom, man. This is America. You know, we carry guns every day here, my whole family. Me and my wife, my nine-year-old, we shoot. We got our dog, you know. Uh, this is America. This is freedom. F uh, you know, fresh air and the opportunity to be who you want to be and not be bothered by people. If you live in the city and you can afford to make a living to go live in the country, I implore you to move to the country and feel freedom. Do you want to know how Americans are going to lose freedom? We're already losing them. You know how it is, though? See, if the, if... If the people, if the government came out right now, and I hate talking about the government, I was part of it for 20 years in the executive branch of government. Government is part of this country, so I'm not anti-government, but I'm anti-morons who want to take away the rights of Americans, because that's what made this country great, that and the love of God. I'm sorry if you don't believe it, I know it. But let's say somebody in the government who's a moron says, we're just gonna, you can't say what you want anymore, we're gonna take away freedom of, spree uh, freedom of speech. Well, the country would be in upheaval. If they said, we're going to take all the guns tomorrow. Tomorrow you have to give up every gun. There'd be a war. But you see, if they say, we're going to take one gun. Or we're going to say, uh, you can't say that because we're going to call that uh, hate speech. And we don't want any hate speech. right? So if you use hate speech, that's a crime. So now there's freedom of, of speech, except for what we consider to be hate speech. And now, you can have your guns, just not the most dangerous one. You know, the AR-15, America's rifle. AR, America's rifle. You can't have that. Well, and we all know that as soon as that's gone, what's the next most dangerous gun? Now that hate speech is illegal, what's going to be the next speech that is illegal? You see, as we whittle away at freedoms, especially if we take decades or even generations, by the time we get back to a freedom that was maybe excuse me, from my cup to here, that's the freedom, or maybe like this, right? But if we whittle it away, and finally, two generations from now, from my cup to here is what we consider freedom, when it's over-regulated and, and just not freedom anymore, then finally when they go, and they just take it away, people will be like, oh, it's so over-regulated. I can't own a gun. I can't afford ammunition. I can't shoot anywhere. I can't carry it anywhere. You know, and I get treated like a criminal. I fly somewhere with it. I, they put it in special places. They got, ah, oh, forget it. They want to take guns. I'm done with it. I can't shoot it. I can't afford to shoot it. I can't. I'll oh, just take the guns. And all these things, you know, all this talking, you know, they're right. We don't need to speak up. Well, get them, we're lost. So people who want to take freedoms, you see, they're not going to take giant freedoms away. They're going to nibble at it and take real freedom and turn it into this, okay, this. And then one day, they'll take that. And people will feel like, oh, that wasn't really freedom anyway. But it will be freedom to people who don't realize real freedom, like this. Fresh air, quiet, peace, God, guns the chance to speak the truth. Listen, if you follow our page, please do me a favor. Facebook is not good to us. They are taking away our numbers every day. Please share our content. Please get your friends to follow our page. Because the Vantac International page was started out simply about my love for my son, love for God, and love for this country. You are the page. This page is about you, about Americans about God-fearing people. And you don't got to be God-fearing to like our page because I'll pray for you, and I hope that you find God because I believe he's real. This page is about you. It's about this country. Hope you enjoy your coffee this morning. God bless you. Keep safe.